All right, y'all, so this paddock here is finished. It's done. I got it, got it all over with. I got the whole thing lined with some logs. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to be doing now is making one kind of like it, but for the little, 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 little pigs. I'm going to be make, making it for the little pigs. Anytime I have piglets, and I finally get them weaned. I'll be able to take them over here from this and then be able to put them over here. So, I'm gonna try and challenge myself today. I'm gonna try and see if I can just get this done and not stop until it's finished. Because I start doing something for a little bit and then get, get kind of bored and go find something else to do for a little bit, then come back and do something else and then. Next thing you know, it's been six hours. Like I was saying, I'm trying to see if I can just get this done real quick and see if I can get it done before the hot part of the day. Or at least by the end of the day. Hopefully before the hot part of the day. So, I got it all marked out here. Let me show you. There's this road that goes right through here. And my fence is going to go right down through there. You can kind of see the string right there. It's going to go down through there and then back that way and it's going to be a funny triangle looking thing. And I'll have two paddocks going off of it kind of like this here. But they've been in here hanging out and they're getting it beat down. You're putting a beat down on this here paddock. So once all this looks like that in there, I'll turn them loose into there. And then they'll have more grass and then I'll be able to come back in here and plant this again if I want to. But right now I got to move them, I'm pretty sure. I got to figure out where exactly because there's panels on this pin that I'm going to be using. Once I get the whole fence set up, the last thing I'm going to do is use these panels. And wherever I want the cage is where I'm going to put the cage at. And then I'll be able to untie it over there and then just flop it open. It should work. And then tie it all up, double check everything, be able to turn them loose. Right? Right. I'm also going to have to come in here and do stuff like trim up those trees over there. Get all those briars out of there. And I'm also going to weed eat. That's the first thing that I'm about to do. So I need to go get the weed eater. Alright. So far I've gotten this spot weed eated. And I've gotten them moved. This is the spot where they're going to be. Now. What I'm going to do. Is this whole backside coming from that T-post. To that red T-post. That, that little green T-post right there. There's going to be fence going right there. And then from there. All the way down to over here. There's going to be a fence there. So, I'm going to run those panels, and then I'm going to lock these pigs inside the nighttime lockup here, and then undo their cage, go to that pole, and then go to that pole, and then fill in the gaps with whatever I have left. And if I can, I may end up having to move some stuff, but we'll, we'll get to that point whenever we get there. But they're sitting here chilling. They got a little bit of grass. And we're just having a good old time. It's real nice today. The wind's blowing. Nice cold breeze coming from the northeast somewhere in there. It's nice. But yeah, today's a good day. So, start getting some stuff done. I bet you they're gonna taste good. All right, y'all, so, like I said, I'm about to get to work, but I wanna to explain to you why this is in the shape of a triangle. It's because there's a road going right through here. I'm standing in the middle of the road right now. And then right up there, by that T-post, in the corner of the frame of the film that you're looking at, there's gonna be a road that goes right along the back side of it. 
So this is just kind of like what we could do. And one of these days, I want to get more panels and have a paddock going that way and a paddock going that way. Or something like that. Or two paddocks going that way. I can't go that way because there's a road that way. I just thought about that. But I'm going to have two paddocks coming off of it like this. This is going to be this is going to be set up like that. There's going to be the little nighttime lockup place where there's the beds and the water and the food and the shade. And then there's going to be the two paddocks for the grass and the roaming around and stuff like that. But this one's going to be for my wean piglets. All my mama pigs are over here. They're all having babies. And I'll be able to open up the fence, let them in over here, and then they'll have all that. Right now I'm giving them a waller, and they'll have a waller too. So this is going to be a good system, I feel like. And then over there, behind the camera, I'm going to have another thing set up kind of like this, but it's going to be for my boar. Or boars, or whatever I got going on. So I'm going to have my boars, my mama pigs, and my piglets. I'll be able to let the boar into the mama pigs, get the mama pigs pregnant, and then let the babies in the gear once it's time for them to be weaned, and then either sell them or eat them, or put them back in here or over there. So, I'm liking this. <laughs> this is, this is going to work pretty good, I feel like. So, I'm about to put y'all on a time lapse. I ain't got a clue how long this time lapse is going to be. And I'm having to yell over the wind. I don't know what time it is. It still feels like morning time. I need to get this done. I need to quit talking right now. So I got one panel up out there this whole time. I don't know what my deal is. I'm just slow, I guess. But here's the thing. This is taking a minute. I finally got everything set up over there. And I got my wire over there. I got the right kind of pliers. Because I finally remember where they was out of nowhere. I was standing over there. I, was, I know where they're at now. So went and grabbed them. Got rid of the other ones. And I've lowered my string down to the height of a hog panel. Hog panel's right about here on me. So, it's about waist high on me. A little below waist. But, I got that that way so that I can make my lines really straight. Whenever the wire, whenever the line's way up here and the panel's way down there, it's kind of hard to line them up. But if you put the wire this high above the panel, then you can right there on the money. So, we're going to speed through this. I'm going to shut the camera off. The battery's about dead. And this is going to take me a while, and I don't want to time lapse that whole thing. So, like I said, we're going to speed through this. Alrighty, y'all. So, I ain't gotten too far, but I figured something out. Alright. I figured out why it's taking me so long. I'm using the T-Post driver completely wrong. I see everybody doing it like this. No, it don't work that way. All the weight is up top. You want that to hit first, right? You want the weight of the T-post driver on the very top of the T-post. You want all the weight up there. So all this weight is way down here below the top of the T-post. If you turn it around, then more weight's on top of the T-post. I don't know why nobody knows this. I mean, it's just common sense. It's quieter too. There. It's even in there stronger. That's the way to do it. That's the way everybody should be doing it. That puts all the weight on top of the T-post. That gives you maximum power. And it also makes you look smarter too. I 
me the... I got to tie that now. So, this is the better way, <laughs> definitely. So, I'm about to get started on this. Oh, in this corner over here, I came up short on my panels. So now what I'm gonna do is put future gates right here. Yeah, future gates. Gates that aren't here, but will be here. I got this spot right here for a paddock gate and a, this spot right here for a paddock gate and I'm gonna have panels come from this t-post all the way down to there and then curve around like I had said before and then right here is where I came up short so I just figured I'd put a gate right here but you, I said it was called a future gate what does that mean well I'm gonna come from those two corner posts and just bow another piece of panel so there, it won't be like this. It'll be like that. And then I'll also tie it onto here. So, because I don't need gates right here. I don't need two weak spots right here. I need a strong spot. And that also gives me another curved corner. And then whenever I do plan on putting gates right here, I'll take that same piece of panel and use that to make the gates. And then somewhere out there, I'll have my paddocks. So, that's the new plan. I got two, three hole panels left. And no, I got two hole panels left. And two short panels left. And three panels inside the pin that's, that the little boys are in right now. So I should be able to get this done without having to go to town. I'm more worried about running out of T-posts than I am panels. All right, y'all, so I'm behind, and I've still got about an hour and something's worth of work, so I need to kind of get on this and get it done and see if I can get it done before the end of the day. I went over there to my grandma and grandpa to take a break, and I sat over there for about five, ten minutes, and then and then my uncle, my uncle showed up, and my grandma... She's getting a shower put in, so that's cool. They'll be able to take showers instead of baths now. You know, people age and it gets harder for them to get up and down and stuff. So, that'll make it easier on them. I was over there helping him for a little bit, and now I gotta get back over here and get this done. So, what I've gotta do now is put that up over there tie my t-post in while i was gone my dad came out here and put my center post in for me so all i gotta do is tie these in put that panel up lock them in and put the other and open up their pin that they're in right now turn them loose so this this should go by fast enough not real fast but fast enough <laughs> All right, so I've got these. These are some fancy little doodads, the little U-bolts. I'll be able to put the panel in there by taking these all the way off, and then that comes off. So I can use this to hold the panel up there in place to where I want it, and it not move around, and then I can get it in there really, really tight. So that's what I'm about to try and do, and I've got to tie it to that back piece, though, so let's try and get this done.
there's that. Now I can take this off because this is all wired up. Now, you're probably wondering why I don't just leave these on there. And I'll tell you why. They're expensive. They're a whole dollar a piece. You know what I can get for a dollar? A Snickers bar. I'm going to go over there on the other side. Do the same thing. Up there. And then... I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, y'all, so the plan is evolving constantly, all right? So right here, what I got going on is I got their cage opened up finally. It's stretched all the way down through here and around over there. I'll show you all that over there on the other side in, in just a second. But what's going on right here is I got these vice grips holding on to this. <laughs> and it's at the very end of its wits, and it's not reaching down there. But I want to attach it right here just like that and tied it really good and really strong and that should hold because this tree right here not even five foot away is going to become a post i'm going to staple nail this to there and then right there that's about eight foot and then right here in the middle of this i'm going to have another post and it's going to look pretty good right there and that's one panel plus four foot so one t-post to be able to hold hold that and i'm just gonna have little baby pigs in here but here's the deal down here right here i got it wrapping around this side of this tree going around that side of that tree and it's supposed to bow around and come right up here to this well let me show you Look at how close that is. <laughs> ah, that's aggravating. Let me see. Yeah, y'all can see. That there is aggravating. I don't want to move this post. I don't want to move it that far. Is that line pretty darn straight? But I'm deciding on whether or not I should put a T-post right here and then I'll be able to clip to it and then have this be a gate and it'll be kind of like a little chute right here. Be able to run them all the way around the pin and back up into here and then into a cage that will probably fit perfectly right here. <laughs> so that's what I'm deciding. Or over here, I might can cut it right, right here on the other side of this tree where you can't see. I don't know if you can see me at all cut it right here on the other side of this tree and then nail it over here there's an upright right here on the other side of this tree on the face of it nail it right there and then I'll have this whole piece right here be able to t-post into place and then have a proper gate and have it open up the way that I want it to because with that over there I'd want it to open up the other way I'm pretty sure so Either way, it needs to be staple nailed right here, so I'm going to do that and then go see what my dad thinks and get his approval on it. Make sure he thinks it's going to be pig proof. Because even though if I think it's pig proof, it may not be pig proof. Sometimes I thought stuff was pig proof and then it was not pig proof. Pig -proof. I had pigs get out. But I am... Um, sun's gone i can't see it but it's not it's not dark yet but i'm this close to making it i could open the door right now and just stand here call it done <laughs> stand here and hold this little piece of fence no, there's it out. Man, i gotta go do that so i'm gonna be right back show y'all what i did with this it's dark and i didn't finish it so I had to go over there and help my grandpa with that shower, so I'm going to get out here in the morning and try to finish it. I was this close to being able to finish, but do it in the morning. 